book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne, with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. 
Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, they cried one to the other. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook, and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, Woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. The one, then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an ember which he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it. See, he said, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said. Send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to you, Lord. 
Jesus said to the apostles, Who among you would say to your servant, who has just come in from plowing or tending the sheep in the field, Come here immediately and take your place at the table? Would he not rather say to him, Prepare something for me to eat? Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink? You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to the servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. the words of the Gospel. I want to first thank Father Alan Caparis, your pastor, for inviting me for this opportunity to preach to you on within the context of your 40 hours, especially in this special Mass where we will raise up our altar service to the next level of service. So thank you for your yes to serving. When I was in fifth grade at my parish of Christ the King, we also had a 40 hours devotion. And my dad, being a night owl, decided to sign up for uh, an hour in the middle of the night. Okay, So he brought me along with him and being just in fifth grade, not the smartest one on the block, I googled on New Advent a long litany that was like three pages because I had no idea what to do for an hour before Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. But upon arriving, there was such peace and joy in the beautiful church, dark, with the altar illuminated and Christ awaiting our Lord on the altar. It was a beautiful, beautiful night that I spent with my dad and before our Lord in prayer. When I was thinking about what to say to you today, the word that came was surrender. Surrender. To God, who is all good, who is faithful, who is reliable, who is our Father. Surrendering to Him. To His plan, which is so good, is for our best. The Lord wants our best, and we can be confident in that. Surrender to His love, which is profound, which is sacrificial, which is real. His love is real. So in this, we can surrender. We can trust with faith that the Lord wants what's best for us, and that He will lead us to it. He will support us in our decisions. When I was a senior in high school, for the first time in my life, I went to Mass, and I did not want to be there. I didn't want to go. I had a plan after Mass. I was going to hang out with my girlfriend, but I knew that going to Mass was the right thing to do, so I went. And at this Mass, um, after communion, they announced that this longtime parishioner had, um, very surprisingly, uh, died, passed away. And uh, this parishioner um, was very well known in the parish. Uh, I, was, I belong to Christ the King Parish, and I have to say, overall, we are a pretty like, well-dressed parish. Okay, you didn't show up to, to Mass in sweatpants. But this guy did. You know, this guy did. He showed up with a, with a t-shirt and sweatpants. He had a very severe uh, limp and a cane, and uh, he always sat in the same pew. And when I was an altar server, and I brought the cross back out for the presentation of the gifts, that's where his pew was at. Anytime I brought the cross back, he would just almost stand up and say, you're going to be a priest one day. You're going to be a priest one day. And he smiled. He was joyful. And... Uh, on this day that I happened to be at this Mass that I didn't want to be at, this was announced. And the first thought, the first thought that came into my mind was about the priesthood. It's about the priesthood. And a surrender, surrendering to our faithful and good God, to His faithful and loving plan, to His real love 
which wants me to succeed in life, which wants to be full of the goodness that God wants to give all of us. So today, my word to you all here is to surrender to God's will for your life, to take a chance, to take a risk, to say yes to our Lord, because he is all good, he is all loving, and in this Mass today, he will offer his life for us once again. We receive the fruits of what he has done for us, and we are grateful. We walk away changed and transformed by our good and loving God. God bless you all. And I'm inviting those servers who are elevated in the stand. Father, we ask you to receive these boys and girls as altar servers to serve at God's altar. Deacon, page 7. 17? Father, the following servers have been chosen to advance in the rank as senior servers. For the past several years, you have had the privilege of serving at the altar here. For the past several years, we have had the privilege of serving at the altar here in Mary Mother and Parish. You have been exemplary in the fulfillment of your duties as loyal servers. It is not an really easy thing. It has involved sacrifice to our heart but it has also been a fulfilling and joyful experience. And now, as you are elevated and higher in the ranks of the older servers, who will reaffirm your commitment to Christ and the most blessed sacrament. Do you therefore promise to carry out your responsibilities in utmost love and devotion to God and to this society? With the grace of God, do you promise to fulfill your assigned duties to serve on Sundays, special liturgies, described both by word and example, to promote the glory of God and the reverence of His holy law? With the grace of God, that you promise on this time. Let us pray. O oh God,
Continue to bless his church on earth, making us greater in holiness and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. That nations in conflict in every corner of the earth may be led by the Holy Spirit to a place of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. For all those who struggle with physical, financial, or other burdens, that they may be granted relief. Through the grace and mercy of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our that all gathered here may continue to grow in faith, hope, and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord our that the souls of the faithful departed may soon rest in the eternal peace of heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and we pray for these our altar servers and all of our young people who serve and give so generously of themselves to our parish. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we humbly present these our petitions, and we ask you to hear and answer them in accordance to your divine will. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, let us all sing together. Lord, 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look kindly, we pray, O Lord, on the prayers and offerings of your people, that the stewards of your mysteries may grow in number and persevere always in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by, the one, by one bond of charity. 
And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, they become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own.
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom we have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. Body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Amen.
Thank you. 